So after spending much time exploring what it meant to be healthy, the students at OLD identified some common needs throughout the school. These included healthier snacks and lunch boxes, as not all children would bring energising food to school, a change in the high fat, low nutrition lunch days, participation in out of school sports and physical activity for staff and students, uh, there was a lack of enthusiasm and participation in sporting events and good sportsmanship. Students often leaving before the end of various carnivals, some children neglected to wear house colours and students mentioned a need for consistent and explicit coaching for athletics events. It was decided that the year 456 would do a health expo. This was the overarching concept but was formed by many smaller concepts, for example soapbox speeches, brochures, posters, art pieces, guest speakers, demonstrations, mini lessons, a play, videos, songs, talks, mascots, health food, test tasters and a treasure hunt. All of these forms of persuasion and advertising were designed and created by the children. This problem to, was to be solved for the whole school community to improve the attitudes of the school community and persuade them to continue growing as health ambassadors. The focus was, um, the other focus was on changing attitudes of staff and creating an environment where, they were, where everybody was on the same page. The first key point about teaching and learning that we uh, had to do was empathise with others to see things from their point of view. So, for example, the children's lunches were not necessarily the ch a child's problem um, and the, t the education had to be deeper than just teaching the students but it also had to go home. The messages had to go home to parents about health and wellbeing too. Um, teachers do find, as you can all appreciate, the ongoing problem of time and sometimes physical education and health do get put to the side because it's the easiest thing to put to the side I guess and that students, not all students are strong in academics and therefore they needed a time where they could feel successful. We did the 100 ideas, we then selected after 24 hours, we selected the f five to six most popular ideas that stuck with us. We did the so what and the yes ends with <coughs> those ideas and within this time students were able to express their ideas in a way that showed a more developed way of thinking. Students were able to pursue projects that not they not only designed but were passionate about. Children loved working on their health expo projects and for the first time they could tell me why it was so important that they were learning the chosen curriculum. Kids took responsibility for their own projects and staying on task. Children's, children were proactive. Many of them took the initiative to be self-directed throughout their projects and developed ideas that were above and beyond what we thought they were initially capable of. It was positive that the Health Expo was just the beginning for some students and their new way of thinking. Students were also supported each other and developed their projects um, in a meaningful way. A success story was that all children were included in this process, including those with special needs. All students were able to relate to food and physical education, so there was a strong common element to learn about and work from. Students were able to connect with the community and network with organisations. For example, students were able to promote companies and, return, and in return raffle off donated items from their business. Students also asked for people to come in and demonstrate to others what their sporting business or organisation was about. Tilting them towards completion was sometimes difficult because it is hard for children to fail and also it's hard for us to let them fail and also hard for us to let them pick up the pieces. In saying this, it was a rewarding to see that when they did fail, it wasn't the end of the world and that they could easily find their way and learn from their mistakes. This was not the case with all children, but most children were able to be self-directed. Um, our, our troubles was with not just the planning, I guess, we could have spent some more time there, but with the ICTs. At the moment, we, we've just finished relocating our library. So a lot of our library was in storage, our technology was in storage, and we had our APRE away, who is usually great at assisting us, and ex, our teacher librarian, was also busy uh, working with the relocation of the library. So that was a bit of a difficult one for us. So where do we go from here? Um, as a result of design thinking process, we've seen dramatic changes in our school community. Where we want to go is parents meeting about a sports committee, so a parent committee, role models, um, a website on our 
a page on our website for our staff role models. You can see some of them there. Uh, and Fitness the Musical 2012, <laughs> a walk for water, free dress days to raise money for sports equipment, visiting speakers to discuss health and nutrition, a festival stall at our next festival, fit stations that are permanently set up, a giant whole school sports day, that's just about fun. Uh, after doing Games Factory, the children also mentioned that they'd like to do physical activity afterwards. Continuing our morning 7.30am fit club, fruit in the classrooms, uh, restoring our veggie patch, an athlete's lunch day instead of our low nutrition lunch day, and all children bringing water bottles to school. So that's, that's where we're at at the moment. It has been, a, I guess it's the start of something bigger, um, but it's definitely been a great, great start. So that's us.